up to you guys it is your girl lanisha aka niche the barbie whatever you want to call me and today i am back with another video if you are new here go ahead and click that subscribe button if you are not new here just please keep on watching today's video is going to be on how you turn a busted wig into this sleigh bob that i recreated so if you want to know how just keep watching okay so right here you can see me pulling a busted wig out or whatever and you guys this wig was like super <laughs> dirty it did not smell good because i had it in a bag and it was crunchy i just i don't know so i'm just brushing it out here nothing like too you know unusual and it is a glued wig it's like a quick weave and then i sewed the closure on I just had to let y'all hear how bad it sounded and I put it on my head to you know see like how it looked because when I took it off it was curly then I just put it in a bag in a drawer like I said so I was just like let me brush it out see how it looks on my head I then used the olive oil shampoo and conditioner I love the way it smells like lemons and here I had let the wig boil for like five minutes and I had ran some cold water on it so I could, you know, touch it. And I just ran my brush through it, but I didn't brush it like all the way. And I took some detangling spray and I sprayed it. And this is like the best kind to use like on your natural hair because it smells divine. So here you just see me spraying it. And then I'm going to take it to my wig head and brush it out. See me um, grabbing a bag and I'm gonna put it on my styrofoam wig head because I didn't want it to get wet or anything like that. And so after doing that, I brought my wig over and I'm just going to comb through it with a wide tooth comb. At this point, it was kind of time for me to go back to work. So I had did my finishing touches and I let her air dry. I got back later on. She probably had been air dry for like six or seven hours maybe. And you can still kind of see that it's half damp and half dry. Here you see me taking a rat tail comb, parting it, and then I'm going to pluck it while it's still damp. take my adore dye in dark chocolate and pour it into a boiling tub of water my camera fell so I had to put it at a different angle and 
I did take a hanger and I stirred it around. But it like it's just one color, so and it's a dark color, so I figured it was just gonna die the way it should have. And now you see me taking the wig, and I'm just gonna turn it upside down and put it in the water. The reason I turned the wig upside down was because I wanted kind of an ombre look and I just wanted it to be brown from the roots. And once again, you see me taking the hair and I had ran some cold water over it already, but I ran just a little bit more and I had um, put some conditioner in my hand and kind of ran my fingers through it. Okay, so sis is back on her throne and I really didn't want to wait another six hours for her to dry. So I kind of just took it into my own hands and blow dried it. Cutting and shaping it and stuff like that, it got deleted. So just brush it down first because it's looking a little. Um, disregard all the noise. It's like five o'clock. Everybody can off work. So I'm gonna take my um Aussie Head Strong Volume Mousse because I'm gonna flatten it. Mm. and I didn't put like anything on it so it's kind of adjustable and you can see um, a little bit of my closure y'all please just look at that ugly ass bump looks a mess and I'm gonna take some oil I got from Ross it's called the Lucetta 100% pure natural Jamaican black hair oil is what I used on my natural hair under my braids before I go to bed. And it's like really hard to scrub. I don't know why. I'm gonna take some of that. Cause it gets really like sticky. And I like that. So gonna, Cause I want my vibes to be like, like if that makes any sense. And I'm pretty sure y'all know how to sweater. At least I hope y'all know. Usually when I see I kind of cut it kind of like asymmetrically. So it's like. <sighs> what is that? I laid it on my top. I don't need my. It burnt the mist. It melted the mist. Okay, good job. Good grief. But I, I really like to put on this bob on my mannequin though. Because I can get to it. I can, I feel like I can, just can do it a lot better when it's like on the mannequin head or whatever. Cause it's light on. We're trying to make a video. Mm-hmm. Of your hair. You're trying to comb it out. Girl, yes. I'm trying to flat iron it. Cause it's acting crazy. Really? How is it acting crazy? It just won't do right, sugar. What? I know it can't be happening. This is like a kindergarten prison go. Oh my God. See what I'm talking about, y'all? I just really don't feel like I can flat iron on my head all I got for y'all, so. Black gradients, setting powder, I like, everything's gonna be top. 
that is all I have for you guys. Don't forget to watch all of my other videos. Subscribe, press the notification bell so you can know when I post something. I will see you guys in my next video.